For this chip shot, I'm facing a tight fairway lie and a back pin. Now, I could choose one of my wedges or try to bump and run a seven iron, but there might be another great option, and I'll be happy to share it with you a little later today on Winning Golf. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today Winning Golf comes to you from the spectacular Cedarbrook Country Club and joining me as our host today from McGillan Architecture is my dear friend and a former Winning Golf Grand Champion, Howard Leibold. Howard, welcome back to Winning Golf, it's great to have you and Howard, each season you seem to bring a wonderful group of guests and today I hope your guests are really pumped up for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge and Howard. I can't think of a better place to hold our competition than this beautiful 18th green here at Cedarbrook Country Club. Well, Doug, we're excited to be back at uh, winning golf again this year. We brought a great group of clients and consultants with us, and I'm sure we're going to produce some great highlights for you today. Well, thank you, my friend. Hey, guys, a simple question for you. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, I love your enthusiasm. Well, our first skills challenge is a group chipping contest where all of you will chip from 75 feet at the same time. Now, <laughs> some of the golf balls could collide into each other, but that's part of the fun. The bottom line is this, whoever winds up close to the cup will win a great prize. How about a beautiful piece of Greg Norman outerwear? Sound awesome, guys? Yeah, let's, All go. Right, let's get ready to chip. Okay, our McGillan Architecture team is ready to go. 11 players are chipping from 75 feet. Ready, guys? One, two, three, chip. And here they come, 11 balls rolling, rolling on the green, but one is tracking right for the cup, and look at this shot. What a chip shot, we have a winner. Well, George Ledwith, congratulations. That was a great chip shot. Two feet, 10 inches from the cup, from 75 feet. That is some great chipping, my friend. And now you'll get to add a gorgeous piece of Greg Norman outerwear to your wardrobe. George, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Absolutely, Doug. The, the, the wardrobe's just icing on the cake for such a beautiful day. Really looking forward to the rest of the afternoon. Thank you, my friend. Well, as you can see, this McGill and architecture team certainly knows how to play some winning golf. And the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us but first let's take a tour around today's host facility one of the top family clubs in the entire region the stunning Cedarbrook Country Club Cedarbrook Country Club a gorgeous private club located in historic Bluebell Pennsylvania opened its doors in 1961 this magnificent facility offers its members a championship golf course a spacious 25 meter pool a tennis complex with four hard and two hard true courts, and a stunning 25,000 square foot clubhouse. Recent renovations include a newly designed pro shop and bag room, a beautiful pavilion overlooking the 18th green, an expanded outdoor patio dining area, a new clubhouse entrance to the pro shop, as well as extensive upgrades to the dining areas, locker rooms, and aquatic facilities. Of course, the cornerstone of activity centers around the breathtaking golf course, which from the tips measures over 7,000 yards. Wonderful 18-hole golf facility, about 220 acres. We got the Wissahickon Creek that goes right through the middle of the property and uh, almost no homes on it. And that's really one of the, uh, one of the best things about Cedarbrook. The scenic layout, designed by William Mitchell, provides its golfers with four sets of tees, 13 bridges spanning the Wissahickon Creek, lakes, ponds, expansive greens, and newly renovated bunkers. This meticulously maintained par 72 golf course is enjoyed by golfers who feel challenged by the design, but not overwhelmed by too severe of a layout. The conditions are really, really good right now. Uh, we have a new course superintendent from uh, Marion, his name's Tim Kelly, and he's come in and he's just done, done a fantastic job. Uh, the membership's very happy with it, um, and all the guests that we have here are uh, very impressed with the condition of the course. It is simply a course that you never get tired of playing. Cedarbrook also provides its members and guests with a state-of-the-art practice facility, including an oversized driving range, a well-manicured putting green, and even a short game practice hole. The experienced and professional golf staff offers a well-stocked pro shop, unique tournaments, and instructional programs for men, women, and juniors, as well as first-class service to members and guests on a daily basis. 
In addition, Cedarbrook Country Club is proud to be recognized within the Philadelphia community as a club that provides outstanding cuisine served professionally. Whether you enjoy a light fair luncheon by the pool or a gourmet dining experience in the Cedarbrook room, you are sure to be pleased with the attention to detail and quality in the restaurants of the club. The clubhouse has three main dining rooms plus a grand ballroom which allows a dedicated and professional clubhouse staff to accommodate member and non-member groups ranging in size from 10 to 225. One thing is for sure, Cedarbrook's friendly atmosphere and many vibrant activities for adults and children make it the perfect venue to socialize and build new relationships. Cedarbrook Country Club, where good friends meet good friends. The membership is like a family. Uh, we have a lot of members that have been here for a long time and they really love this, uh, they love the club. And, uh, and the staff, we fall in line with that. And uh, you know, we treat the members like family and our, our guests like members. Because we want every member and guest that comes, comes on property to have a, a world-class experience and to feel like they're the most important people here, because they are. If interested in learning more about membership or scheduling a golf outing, wedding, private party, or business function, please call 215-646-9410 or check out the web at cedarbrookcc.org. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf, where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Greg Newell, George Ledwith, Tom Reed, Michael Herman, Howard Liebold, John Harvey, Mike Budzin, Barrett Dunnigan, Dan Bozine, Scott Karpiak, Joe Brockle. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. Foot Joy, the mark of a player. Gentlemen, today's Foot Joy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm gonna share with you a unique club option that I believe could really help your chipping game. Part two, Scott Karpiak's gonna put my chipping tip into action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to hit a chip shot. And at the same time, compete for an unbelievable prize. Fellas, are ready for this? How about a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Is that all yeah. right? There you go. Yeah. What a prize. Let's talk about chipping. Fellas, when chipping, most of you will reach into your bag for one of your wedges or maybe try to bump and run a seven iron. But there is another very effective option, especially when facing a tight fairway lie and a back pin. And that option is a hybrid. So today I want to give you the perfect setup when chipping with a hybrid. Sound good? Yeah. Awesome, all right. So the first thing I do is choke down on the golf club and apply my putting grip. First thing I do. The second thing I do is I narrow my stance. That keeps my body from moving around over the golf ball. The third thing I make sure is that my ball is right in the center of my stance. The fourth thing is very important. I move much closer to the golf ball. As you can see, when I walk in and choke down, the shaft becomes much more vertical, more up and down, like your putter shaft. That allows me to take this hybrid back and through with a putting stroke. And that's my goal. That's why we move closer and choke down, all right? Two little things we want to do yet in your setup. I want to take my body weight, move it into my front hip, and I want to move my hands slightly ahead of the golf ball. That produces a descending angle of attack. And again, remember, a lot more loft on a hybrid face than a putter face. So this ball should pop up a little bit and then roll the rest of the way like a putt. Sound like a plan, guys? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get to the exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Scott Karpiak to come up and put this tip into action. Scott, welcome. Thank you. Thank great you. to have you. Have a nice applause for Scott. All right. All right. All right. Just a great guy. All right, Scott. So let's go through your setup. Stand normally over the golf ball, okay? I'd like you to choke down on the club and use your putting grip, but however you hold your putter. Good. Now I want you to narrow your stance about half as wide as it was. Good. Now I want to make sure that your golf ball's in the center. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now we're going to move you closer to the golf ball, and as you can see, your shaft is going to get taller, mm -hmm. just like that. Okay, good. Right. Good. Now we're going to bump a little weight into your front hip. Move your hand slightly ahead of the golf ball, okay? Now you know this is gonna break left to right, so we wanna swing a little bit up on the left side here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna step back with this wonderful team from McGill and Architecture. When you're ready, Scott, I want you to apply a putting stroke to this hybrid. Let's see what happens. 
Yeah. Well, look at this yeah. shot, everybody. Yeah. Rolling from left to right, and that is right below the cup. We'll take that one, Scott. All right. I hope you learned a lot today. I did. It's always good to have another stroke in the bag. You got yeah. it, my friend. Hey, guys, you ready to try to win a pair of Foot Joy shoes? Yeah. Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our foot joy contest is a challenging left to right chip shot from 75 feet using a hybrid. Dan Bozine came ready to play. And that's a beautiful Thank touch, Dan. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Barrett Dunnigan's ball stops less than 10 feet from the pin. It's going to come down towards the hole. And that's a great Much touch, Barrett. Part. Well done. John Harvey's got game with this effort to 5 feet 9 inches. Look at this shot by John Harvey. Could it be in the hole? Oh, right past the lip. Greg Newell is the first to less than 5 feet away. Look at this touch by Greg Newell, moving from left to right. This one's got a chance, and that is winning golf by Greg Newell. But the shoes will go to Michael Herman with this masterful shot to two feet, four inches. Moving from left to right on this beautiful 18th green, and that is winning golf. Michael, congratulations. That was a great chip shot with your hybrid. And now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of foot to his shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But Michael, my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add a custom-made putter to those new FootJoy shoes? That would be amazing, Doug. Looking forward to it. Awesome, my friend. Well, I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. These major champions choose FootJoy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look sharp. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all-new Fury. And these guys choose the Pro SL. Because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot joy, foot joy, foot joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot joy, the number one shoe in golf. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Burton Travel Covers, premium quality materials that keep your club safe. Burton. And by T-Squared Putters, custom putters at a stock price. T-Squared. Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. And Titleist Golf Balls, the number one ball in golf. Go to Titleist.com slash tour BP3 to sign up for a free ball plan tour. Doug Hendrick's wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our prize putt. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, right now, I would love to give away a very special prize. How does that sound, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Our special host, Howard Liebel, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will have three chances to roll in a 10-foot putt. If successful, that player will win a T-squared putter. Now, fellas, the T-squared putters are custom made in the United States and retail between $450 and $500. How's that wow. sound? This is going to be a very exciting contest. And speaking of excitement, Howard Liebel, who is our lucky contestant today here at the beautiful Cedarbrook Country Club? Somebody that could add a putter. Tom Reed. Tom Reed. Yeah. Tom. Congratulations, my friend. Oh, All right, so here's the challenge. I'm going to give you three putts from 10 feet. You roll one in, I hand you a T-square putter. Are you up for the challenge? Awesome. I'm ready. Let's do it. Tom Reed has three chances from 10 feet to roll in a putt. If he can do it, Tom will add a T-square putter to his bag, just like I did this season. And here we go. A nice setup and a nice stroke. This one's got a chance. Oh. We'll get there right on the edge. Putt number two, he knows the speed, he knows the line. Here it comes, this one's got a chance. Tom Reed, it's in the heart of the cup. 
and Tom Reed's gonna take home a T-square putter. Wow. Well, Tom Reed, congratulations, and boy did you handle the pressure. The gallery was around you, the camera was rolling, and you rolled your putt in on the second attempt. That's some good putting, my friend, and now you'll get to add a T-square putter to your bag. Hey, I hope you had a lot of fun. Well, I felt like it was a championship on the line there, but it was great. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to that putter. You're quite welcome, my friend. Well, thanks to T-square putters, we just gave away an awesome prize, and the exciting news is this. We still have a ton of great prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 45-foot uphill chip shot from the heavy rough. Tom Reed shows off his chipping game. Winning golf, Tom, well done. Michael Herman has a good touch. With a pitching wedge. Very nice. right. And right below the hole, well done, Michael. Howard Liebold catches everyone's attention with this gem to four feet. Look at that touch. Former grand champion, Howard Liebold. Barrett Dunnigan is a foot closer. That is pin high. Well done, Barrett. Yeah, Barrett. But Greg Newell takes the round with this winning golf shot to two feet. Moving from right to left, this one's got a chance to go in. That is winning golf by Greg Newell. Well done. Up next is a 35-yard pitch shot from the first cut. Joe Brockle leads the charge. Oh, that's a good touch by Joe Brockle. Dan Bozine pitches it nicely. And a good line. It should start breaking now, and here it comes. Good touch. Well done, Dan. Barrett Dunnigan. Barrett Dunnigan. Any ways to make a par, buddy. Tom Reed plays his ball smartly. And that looks like it's pin high, Tom, and rolling down towards the cup. With your new putter, that's a good. John Harvey nestles his ball less than seven feet from the cup. Perfect speed, and here it comes. Look at this touch by John Harvey from 35 yards. Well done. But it's Scott Karpiak who grabs the round with this beautiful shot to five and a half feet. He's rolling it. This could be very good when it's done. And that's a great touch, Scott. Round three tests the putting skills, and Joe Brockle is unfazed by this 30-footer. You got to get it there. Got to get it there. All right, Joe. All right, Joe. All right, partner. Tom Reed rolls his ball to one foot, nine inches. All right, all right, not bad. Not bad, you're pin high. John Harvey has a smooth stroke. John, very nice. Get there, get there, get there. All right, all right. We'll mark that one. Howard Liebold is an inch closer. Here we go. And that is about pin high. Good stroke, Howard. Well done. George Ledwith putts it to just over a foot away. And look at this putt by George. Wow, what a touch. Well done, buddy. But Mike Budson has the shot of the round. At 10 inches, he takes the prize. And look at this roll by Michael. This is going to be on the doorstep. And what a touch by Michael Budson. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with Tony Tuber, the founder of T-Square Putters. And Tony, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you for having me again, Doug. You're quite welcome. Now, last week, we heard your story about how this company started. And now I'd like to hear about what makes this T-Square putter so special? First, they're all manufactured and assembled. Uh, everything is made from here down in my dad's manufacturing facility in Orchard Park where he manufactures surgical, dental, and aerospace parts for the go U.S. government and FDA, so they have extremely high tolerances. And if they're one degree, one millimeter off those parts, then they get rejected. Mm. So every putter is machined in the same materials by the same people and they're all one-off, everything, and they're not mass-produced at all, all made out of a single block of 303 stainless steel. Well, this is 6061 aircraft aluminum backed by Teflon, so this is gonna be an extremely soft feel on this putter uh, particularly. Everything you see is done, handmade, machined by me, so you know who's making it, and they're also extremely customizable, so you are able to pick your logo, name, whatever you want, you can dream it, we can build it type of thing. So, wow. That is terrific, and 
your standards seem a little higher than, than most companies, and that's a wonderful thing to have, especially somebody that's looking for a great putter. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that I've tried a lot of putters in my 37 years, and this is one of the best putters I've ever had in my hand. I love the feel, I love the design, so I thank you for that. And my advice to all of you is very simple. Check out these amazing putters at tsquaredputters.com. Thank you, Tony. No problem. You're quite welcome to be here. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who have won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this tough 20-yard downhill pitch shot from the rough. George Ledwith pitches it to just over seven feet away. It's a great effort by George Ledwith. Dan Bozine continues his fine play. And this is going to be about pin high just below the hole. And that's a nice touch by Dan Bozine. Mike Budson is the first to five feet from the hole. Rolling from right to left, and look at this touch by Mike Budson. Winning golf, my friend. Scott Karpiak sets the mark to beat at three feet. This one's got a chance to be very close. Scott Karpiak. Beautiful touch. Well done today. Greg Newell is a couple of inches better. Roll from right to left, and this could be very good. And that's winning golf, Greg Newell. Howard Liebold is up to the challenge at one foot, 10 inches. Imagine, look at this touch by Howard, moving from right to left, and that is a terrific touch by our host, Howard Lebo. But Michael Herman leaves, no doubt. From 20 yards, and look at this touch by Michael Herman, and that's going to be very close. At 11 inches, he takes the round. Howard Liebold graciously gave up his spot in the final to Greg Newell. So it will be Newell and Herman to battle it out in this week's playoff. All this and more when Winning Golf returns. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Current eligible non-GM owners and lessees get up to 16% below MSRP on most of these Buick models. Or get over 7,000 on this 2019 Enclave Avenir. These major champions choose FootJoy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look shop. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all-new Fury. And these guys choose the Pro SL because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot joy, foot joy, foot joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot joy, the number one shoe in golf. I cut. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Signs by the Sea, the best custom handmade golf accessories and gifts. Signs by the Sea, and by Chippo. Compete against your buddies while working on your short game. Chippo and by Devant, the number one custom golf towel in the business. Devant, outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear, layer up with FootJoy. We're on the 18th green. Our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the winning golf championship and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous GMC terrain. Now the rules for the winning golf up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the winning golf up and in playoff will be a 20 yard short pitch from the first cut. Greg Newell will have the honors. Greg carries a nine handicap and plays most of his golf at French Creek. The screen is in mint condition and that ball is still rolling. And looks like Greg has about 15 feet. And now it's Michael Herman's turn to try and battle this challenging 18th green here at Cedarbrook Country Club. Michael owns a 16 handicap and enjoys his golf at Philly Cricket. Less soft hands by Michael Herman. And he's going to be below the cup, which gives him uphill putt. And now we got a putty match from here. Well, Greg Newell has 15 feet downhill and left to right. Let's see what happens. Get in there. Nice setup. Oh, oh, oh. Nice really fast greens here in mint condition. Michael Herman has eight feet uphill, a little right to left. And a beautiful stroke, beautiful setup. Oh, just below the cup. Michael taps that in for a three. So it comes down to this putt. If Greg Newell 
If Greg Newell can roll this in from two feet, we'll have a chip off the determiner champion. If not, Michael Herman is our winning golf champion. Let's see what happens. And he rolls into pressure putt. We're gonna have a chip off to decide our champion. Well, the excitement is building. Both players have hit the big shots when it counted, and now our winning golf up and in playoff comes down to one chip shot from 60 feet. Greg Newell will go first and try to nestle one close to the hole. And here's the shot, and look at his touch by Greg. That is rolling down softly. Looks to be about six feet below the cup. That's Michael Herman's turn. Come on, come on. And might have hit a little behind that one. It's going to stay above the hole, which means Greg Newell is our winning golf champion here at the beautiful Cedarbrook Country Club. Greg, that was a very exciting finish. It got to a chip <laughs> off. You wound up a little bit closer to take home the winning golf trophy. I just hope you had a great experience with winning golf. You know, I had a blast. It was a great time. I haven't won much in golf. I played golf a long time, and a chance to win something like this. I was pretty nervous, I have to admit, at the end there on that chip, but it was great. It worked out at the end, so really excited. Awesome, Greg. Well, your exciting day isn't over yet because in a couple minutes, I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for a gorgeous GMC terrain. My question is, Greg, do you have your room in your garage for one of those? I do not, but I'm already text my wife and tell her we're going to go get the contractor and put an addition on because we got to have that garage for this truck. I'm really excited. Thrilled. Well, Greg, I love the way you think, my friend. Well, I've got a great feeling about this next putt, so whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. First six function multi pro tailgate available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on this next generation 2019 Sierra Crew Cab SLT. Or get 20% below MSRP on these 2019 double cab and SLE Crew Cab models with a traditional tailgate. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's with fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Mm. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willihan's, where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new GMC terrain at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our winning golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC terrain. Winning golf is thrilled to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We're on the gorgeous putting green here at Cedarbrook Country Club. Today's winning golf champion, Greg Newell, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, I will hand Greg the keys to a spectacular GMC Terrain. My three keys, relax, keep your head still. And whatever you do, don't come up short. And here it comes. And that's a great effort by our champion, Greg Knoll. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling show from the fabulous Cedarbrook Country Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Cedarbrook staff and membership for their warm welcome and amazing hospitality. I also want to thank my wonderful host today, Howard Liebold. And again, congratulate today's winning golf champion, Greg Knoll. Well, it's time for a little workout with my favorite club, my four hybrid. Not only is this my club from 200 yards, but I also use it to save par around the green. Hey, thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Everybody.